Have a holly jolly weekend. It's the best time of the vlog. I don't know if there'll be snow. There won't be any snow, but I am gonna start my skincare routine. I know you're shocked. Hey guys, hope you're having a great weekend before Christmas when you're watching this, if you celebrate. Flew by, my gosh. Um, this weekend, we're gonna get through the last of the advent calendars. Last night, I went to bed with healing ointment all over my body. And let me tell you, well, not all over my body, pretty much all over my arms, my legs. If you put petroleum jelly on after you get out of the shower, while the skin's still a little bit damp, especially like this healing ointment, which is basically Aquaphor, it almost kind of goes in like this creamy lotion instead of just a plain ointment. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it mixes a little bit with a slight bit of moisture still in your skin. Anyway, then you put pants on, pajama pants, long sleeves. When you wake up, your skin is so soft. Simple, easy thing to do to really level up your winter skincare routine um, and cut down on dryness. All right, I'm gonna come in with this silly mask, which I've been, you guys know, dabbling in because I have it and I want to finish it, but that's proving to be easier said than done because it's taken me a while to get through it. Anyway. Before I got on here and chatted with you guys, I brushed my teeth. I used a little battery operated toothbrush. Anyway, I'm telling you that guys that because I never show myself brushing my teeth in the morning, but I just want to let you know that I do, so you don't think, ew, ew. Um, yes, I do brush my teeth in the morning. I just don't like to film that, because I don't know. But what I wanted to tell you guys is that um, when it comes to doing your skincare routine, some people get irritated by toothpaste residue, so it helps them to use, you know, brush their teeth first, and then do their skincare routine. That way they don't do their skincare routine, brush their teeth, have toothpaste residue around their mouth that irritates their skin. They have the action of rinsing the skin. Of course, if you do a really simple morning skincare routine, like I've told you guys is more than reasonable where you just wake up and you put on sunscreen and go, well, you know, the same thing can happen where you can get some toothpaste residue around the mouth that's irritating for you. So just make sure you kind of rinse that off thoroughly. But honestly, it's not like it's a widespread problem where people are getting massive face irritation from brushing their teeth after doing their skincare routine. It's really more relevant to people who are dealing with like perioral dermatitis or get a lot of irritation around the mouth, but that, you know, that may make a difference. It's not like a huge thing. It's just a tiny little tweak that some people, not all, find to be helpful. But one thing about toothpaste is that when you brush your teeth, you just spit out the excess. You don't actually rinse it out because you want that fluoride to sit in your teeth. So that's another reason why I like to do it first thing when I get up is to really let it sit on there for a while and do my skincare routine. Because I also drink water in the morning and I don't wanna just rinse the fluoride off right away. So it gives it a little bit of time to sit on there. Um, listen to me, giving you guys dental hygiene tips. Um, that's not why you're here, but hey, it, it does play into your skincare routine and it's super important to make it a habit to, of course, brush your teeth. And I also want to let you guys know that I do so that you know I'm not, a, you know, slacking on my teeth. Speaking of dental hygiene, um, this is one of my favorite dental flosses, the Dr. Tongues, this and Cocoa Floss. As a matter of fact, um, I've got some cocoa floss that I'm hoarding. It's really good, but cocoa floss is expensive, so I only use it, you know, when I'm feeling fancy. I mean, but this Dr. Tongues, it's really cool because it comes in a little paper container and, and it just cuts down on plastic. It has a nice cardamom flavor. It's really pleasant to use, Dr. Tums. I get this on iHerb. Update though, I finished the Cetaphil Healthy Renew Face Serum. Really enjoyed this. And unlike other skincare products, you can really tell, look, I used every last drop. This pump package really gets everything out. I mean, hello, I'm loving it. More brands need to, to come out with stuff like this where you can see exactly how much you've used. Look, there is nothing 
nothing stuck down there. Isn't that wonderful? All right, I'm gonna rinse this off. This is one I have a little bit left of. Um, this is the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Gel. This is okay. It's definitely not a favorite. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's actually good. It's just like, I don't find it to be too much different. I, I don't find this to be strikingly different from CeraVe PM. It's like ever so slightly lighter in consistency. But I want to finish it up. I reviewed it for you guys earlier this year. I just have a little bit of it left. Well, it's just turning into a CeraVe morning, I guess, because um, that's already absorbed. I'm coming in with the hydrating sunscreen, SPF 30. So it's Saturday, obviously, when I'm filming this. You guys are watching it the Saturday after the fact, but in between that time, it's gonna be the first day of winter already. Oh my gosh. Um, so that means, just gotta knock on my door. Some sort of package came, which sort of took me, a, a, you know, caught me off guard because usually I don't get packages, it's early in the morning, but I guess they were getting a jump start on the day. Uh, where was I in my sunscreen application? I think I got pretty much everywhere except my ears. Um, yeah, I was telling you guys, winter, winter is coming. And that means, so that means that I need to do my skincare empties video i do it seasonally all the skincare i finished up and that cetaphil serum is definitely gonna make its way in there and i may even have this cerave serum to finish too and this sunscreen is about tapped too so stay tuned for that anyways guys it's coffee time that's really the most wonderful time all right, it's time to crack into a new bag of coffee. If you all recall, I purchased this on Black Friday on Amazon because I don't know, it spoke to me. Kicking horse coffee, grizzly claw. I was like, that kind of sounds like, that kind of sounds like a cousin brand to Raven's Brew, so maybe it'll be good. Um, anyway, let's fire it up. Organic whole bean coffee, dark roast, rich dark chocolate decadent. It was either this or four Siggy, but I decided I'm gonna give this a try, why not? Ugh. Is it gonna be a, is it gonna be an easy adhesive? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Smells good. I'm so glad that the coffee bags have the original glues. If you're new here, this was a, this was a pandemic issue where coffee companies, it seemed, had to switch out their glue supplier and they had this ultra adherent glue so that you couldn't just pull open the bag. It was like cemented shut. You had to cut it open. And part of the experience of opening a new bag is like pulling it open and getting that first whip. I mean, right? Um, I don't know if anyone's a coffee expert, but what does it mean when the beans are like shiny? These are these are more of a matte finish. <laughs> Got the washing machine judging in the background, of course. So we've got a new cat in town. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I got this as a little gift and I'm pretty excited because I've heard good things about these Goose Creek candles. And this one is Christmas tree brownies, like those little Debbie cakes. Let me take the lid off. A long time ago, a couple of years ago, actually, I want to say it was like the first year of my YouTube channel, I had this candle from Bath and Body Works. It was like a like a chocolate, and that's kind of what this smells like on first whiff, but it's a cute label. Let me give her a trim. Man, those are those are fat wicks. Look at the look at the girth on those things. Dang. Soy wax can be hit or miss, but we'll see. The six minutes is up, so let's give her a plunge and give it a taste. 
This is, I, I want to say this is the first coffee I've purchased from Amazon, at least in a while. So we'll see if it's any good. It smells good. Tastes pretty good. All right, not mad at that. It's not mind-blowingly good though, but it's good. Like I'm, I'm happy with it. It tastes really good. It's delicious. All right, guys, let's tackle Style Vana today. Here we go, day 18. Something that is a serum from, ooh, Numbuzzin, number three. I tried a few of these, of this brand's products and I don't know, I was kind of underwhelmed. I can't remember if I tried, I don't think I tried this, number three serum. I tried some sunscreens. Looks like it has Bifida Ferment Lysis, Lys, Lysis, ugh. Bifida Ferment Lysate and Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate. Those are hydrating. Niacinamide, y'all know the drill there, anti-inflammatory, anti-redness, good for hyperpigmentation, the moisture barrier, anti-aging, sodium hyaluronate, a humectant. All right, let's see what's inside. Get a pretty substantial bottle. Let's check out the texture. Mmm, feels nice. Nice and hydrating. We've gotten some good serums this year. What do you guys think? Um, I haven't actually tried anything yet because like I've been telling you guys in my vlogs, I've got some things from this year that I wanna finish up before we head into 2024. So I'm not allowing myself to really try out much new, um, but I'm excited about a lot of this stuff, including this. Alrighty, day 19. We have what looks like a makeup product, Unleashed, Unleashia, Un Unleashia, Unleashia. This is a non-sticky, light and comfy texture, shimmer and glossy lip tint. Let's see what she looks like. Nice, pretty tube. Looking pretty. Ooh, I like that. This color is really pretty, but it is a little perfumey, I will say that. Okay, day 20. Ooh, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I've heard good things about this, either, I think from you guys actually in the comments. It's Magno Bifida Ampule. It has Bifida ferment lysate, lactobacillus ferment, lactococcus ferment, niacinamide again, squalane, pepti copper peptides, caffeine. Ooh. Here's the bottle, pretty big size. And it's kind of a medium viscosity, glossy, no fragrance. Day 21. Ooh, this I already know I like and have recommended. It's the Beauty of Joseon Retinaldehyde uh, Eye Cream. Uh, this you can actually use on your face too. Uh, it, it's gentle enough to use around the eyes, but can be used on the face. Uh, it's retinaldehyde, so your skin only has to do one thing to it to get it to the active form. It can, with long-term consistent use, improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, sunspots, overall skin texture. Um, and it's pretty well tolerated. Uh, it also has ceramide, which is good for the moisture barrier, sodium hyaluronate, a humectant. Here's what the tube looks like. It is a nice pump which I like. And as is common with retinaldehyde, it has a yellowish hue to it. Really moisturizing. This is a great product. Day 22, we have, ooh, looks like a mask from Abib. Everything I've tried from this Abib brand has been top notch. So this goes on as the last step in your nighttime skincare routine. It says in the morning, wash off, but it sounds like it's a really nice, thick moisturizer. We'll see what it looks like in a moment. It has lactobacillus ferment, which is gonna be hydrating. 
uh, Saccharomyces rice bran ferment, adenosine, which is good for the moisture barrier, sodium hyaluronate, allantoin, no fragrance. Let's see what it looks like. All right, here's the jar, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited because this looks like a ton of fun. You get a little scooper, of course. Um, check out the texture on this. It's like real gelatinous. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm tempted to try it out tonight, but um, like I said, I wanna I wanna finish what I have. <laughs> cool. I'm I'm really excited about this because they have a sheet mask, a heart leaf, it's called the heart leaf sheet mask that is really good. So I'm I'm really excited for this. Then for day 23, looks like we got two. Two for the price of one drawer. Lador is the brand. We have, what in the world? A snail sleeping hair ampule. Pretty excited to try that. And a scalp scaling spa. What? All right, I'm stoked for this. So the scalp scaling mask has tea tree oil in it, which actually shows promise for dandruff, although it can cause contact dermatitis. Um, it has fragrance as well. To use it after shampooing, directly apply the product on scalp in between hair and massage with fingertips for one to two minutes. Massage it with hair for one minute and wash it off. <laughs> so there's that. And then the snail sleeping hair ampule. Focus, doesn't wanna focus. There we go. This has, this has fragrance as well and snail filtrate. After shampooing, apply an adequate amount on your hair and let it be absorbed into the hair as if, you're, as if you're tapping it. It can be used 24 hours without a conditioner and is not washed off. All right, sounds like some kind of leave-in conditioning product. Looking forward to trying that. Day 24, we have oh, another one that I know is good. Uh, this is the Madagascar Centella um, High Alu Sika Water Fit Sun Serum. Really love this. Here's what the packaging looks like. Again, a really nice um, pump on a tube. Really hydrating formula. No fragrance. Organic, aka chemical sunscreen. Doesn't leave a cast. Um, probably one of my favorite Korean sunscreens, and I have a lot, so that's not saying much, but I, I mean, I love Korean sun, sunscreens, Korean and Japanese. So, stoked for having a refill on this. Niacinamide tea leaf extract. It has centella, sodium hyaluronate, broccoli sprout, and alfalfa extract, okay. <laughs> Adenosine is good for the moisture barrier. Yeah, this is this is a good one. All right, that concludes the Stylevana Advent Calendar. Man, this flew by fast. Y'all, come back tomorrow, uh, Christmas Eve, if you celebrate, because we will be doing the last of Yes Style. Um, and that will conclude the 2023 Korean Beauty Advent Calendar season. While we're at it, let's see what came in this mystery box this morning. Ooh, looks like a card. Oh, how cute. A Christmas card from L'Oreal. Wishing you love and joy this holiday season. That's really cute. I didn't, oh. Here it is. Thank you for your support of L'Oreal Beauty Brands and our mission to bring the world life-changing and sustainable dermatologic solutions. Ooh. Oh, this is a really nice gift. Wow. Coasters. Oh, look how pretty, you guys. Oh, I love these. Those are so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how cute. That one's got a little mustache. Oh, I love these. Thank you. Well, hey 
guys, I am all out of the shower, wearing my festive cozy PJs, and I just put some of this all over my feet and ankles and lower legs. This is the um, up and up version of Aquaphor. Uh, it's just sort of a spot slugging, if you will, to just focused areas. The rest of my body I'm moisturized with this. And on my face, I am almost finished, actually. You know, I'm gonna film an empties video for you guys soon, and this is most likely gonna make its way in. Put a little of the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella on to improve moisture content of the outermost layer of my skin. And while I was in the shower, I got to thinking, you know, there are some body sites where people forget to wash. Like, I mentioned this before, obviously people always talk about, oh, don't forget to wash behind your ears, what we all kind of do. And I, this is a tip, um, wash behind your ears with a little anti-dandruff shampoo if you use anti-dandruff shampoo, because the same process that causes dandruff in the scalp, seborrheic dermatitis, it can cause like rashes and stuff behind your ears, um, red flaky stuff. So that's, that's a little tip. But a lot of people forget to wash their belly button. And the belly button skin it has like a lot of redundancies, folds and things. Um, and you know, it's a tight little space. So clothing, lint, dead skin cells, sweat, debris can collect in there and it can become malodorous if you're not, not up on it. it. It also depends too, everyone's belly button's kind of shaped a little bit different. So that can make a difference. All you have to do is just like, you know, get a little dilute soapy water on your finger and rinse it out. Like you don't need to do some, you know, you give, I had to be careful because no sooner will this tip get out there, all of a sudden you're going to have these products being launched left and right, like belly button lavage, <laughs> um, a toner for your navel, you watch. Um, so yeah, that's a place between the toes is another place a lot of people forget to wash. It makes a big difference. All right, this, I have actually noticed an improvement in my hair. Y'all who have been watching the vlogs, you know, when I first started using this, I was like, oh, it's not the same as my Moroccan styling cream. It does what, you know, la la la. Now, what this is, is an acidic perfecting concentrate leave-in treatment, intense conditioning, heat protection, styling aid, hydration intense, protection, um, and then a bunch of French. <laughs> um, so, it's um, intended for people who have damaged hair from like getting their hair colored, bleached, um, relaxed, but I've been using this for a while now, <clears throat> so much so that I'm almost finished with it. And I really do notice a visible improvement in my hair, actually, since I've been using it consistently. Like, it took a while for it to really appear as a noticeable improvement. Basically, I noticed my hair is just a lot smoother, glossier, not glossier per se, but smoother, more manageable, has that kind of radium look to it, um, the ends especially. So I think it's a good product, you know, now that I've made my way all the way through it, I really do think it's a good product. Will I repurchase it? No. I'm going to probably repurchase that Moroccan styling cream. I haven't decided it yet though because I do want to, you know, test some things out. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. Almost over. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Um, but, you know, then you have New Year's Eve to get excited about. <laughs> anyway, y'all, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.